Hi guys, Heather with Heather Bear Designs. I am back with the second part of the series of videos that I started yesterday. Um, we are making a cup based on inspiration from the crayon art that I'm sure you guys have seen where you um, put the crayons on a piece of canvas and you melt them and they run down and then there's usually a picture of um, a girl with an umbrella and the colors are running down. So we're doing that on a cup with glitter. Um, I'm going to be using a 20 ounce hog, which I did state in the first part of the video. Yesterday on part number one, I put down the base glitter. I painted the cup and put the base glitter down, which is Perseus Flicker. You guys aren't going to be able to see how shiny that is, but it's got kind of a gold, blue, pink quality to it in person. It's really stunning. Um, I went into my software. There's a goat. Um, I went into my software and I found an umbrella girl that I wanted to use. And I basically cut her out of cardstock. Um, I ruined it, so I don't have it to show you in the video. But I cut her out of cardstock and I placed her on my cup. And then I took a colored pencil and I just did a little line here because I'm not going to put the vinyl on until after the epoxy, but I'm going to do all the glitter first. So I did a little line here with colored pencil where the umbrella is going to hit so I can make sure that when I'm doing my drips of color, they don't go into where the umbrella is going to be. So it looks like they're going around the umbrella. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm going to be using the new colors from bulkglitters.com. These are their Fire Glow series and they're really vibrant, bright colors. So I wanted to use these because they're just going to look so pretty on the cup. Um, and I can tell you the names of each one as I go. I'm going to be adding to those colors Muse by Recollections so that I have a deep purple and Marine by Recollections so that I have a deep blue because if you noticed, there's not a dark purple, there's not a dark blue and I want the full spectrum of color on this. So I'm also going to be using Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and a few small paint brushes. If you guys can see those. I'm not sure exactly which size I'm going to need because, again, this is an idea that's in my head and we're going to bring it to life on the cup. So I went ahead and I poured some Mod Podge into a little Dixie cup so it's easier for me to get to. I'm going to move you guys down here and we're going to get started. It's going to literally be... We figure this out as we go. Okay. So my plan is to take the larger of the paint brushes and to just paint the Mod Podge on just so it looks like it's dripping and then get you know do a segment like that and then sprinkle the glitter on in an ombre with the rainbow so let's go ahead and get started I'm dipping into the Mod Podge I'm gonna start at the very top and I'm gonna just bring that Mod Podge down to look like a drip and I'm going to round it off at the bottom so that it looks like a drip. And I'm going to repeat this process doing little drips. I'll do a little drip there. I know you can't really tell because of the white on white, but you'll be able to see what's going on here once I'm done and I put the glitter on. Okay. I don't want to go too far because I don't want my Mod Podge to dry before I get my glitter on. So I'm just going to do that little segment right there. And I'm going to start dusting on the glitter. I'm going to go ahead and start with one thing I did do, guys, that I forgot to mention. I apologize. After I put the base coat of glitter down on the cup, I took it outside and I coated it really well with this spray sealant so that when I'm dusting my colors on now they're not going to stick to the white so I sealed the white cup with this spray sealant and I let it dry really well before I started the Mod Podge I almost forgot about that okay 
me get you back down here where you can see. Let's start with Muse. Now I'm just going to lightly sprinkle this from far away because I want to create a blend. A little bit thicker on the section that I want to be completely purple. Let's see how there's just a little bit of glitter in some of the other parts. That way when I go to the next color, it blends really well. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to create a glitter mix with this because the next color is going to be marine, the dark blue. I'm just going to go in with that right next to the purple. And then I'm going to go in with one of my Fire Glow colors. This is Green Mist from Bulk Glitters. And now more Mod Podge. You see how that's coming along? Creating a dripping pattern and then ombre the colors around. And when you blow it off, it won't stick to the white because the white is sealed. Again, I'm just going around, creating a melted, dripping effect. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You just replicate something that looks like it's running down the cup. I was going to dilute my Mod Podge and literally run it down the cup, but then I'm like, nah. Let's just draw this design in there because I could be biting off more than I wanted to chew by doing that. I'm going to go way down the cup now because I want to take some of these really far down to the bottom. I don't want them all at the top. I have another small section of Mod Podge, so now I'm going to move on to the next color of glitter. I'm going to start again with the green, because when I ended it, I didn't have any fade on there. So I'm going to sprinkle this from pretty far away, so that I can just get a little bit on there so that it creates a blend. See how there's just a little bit dusted in there? The next color is Verdant Jade from Bulk Glitters. This is their boutique series of Fire Glow Glitters. Just sprinkling that lightly in, concentrating it where you want the most, and then going a little further away and tapping lightly where you want it to blend. The blend between the greens there, it's almost seamless. I'm going to 
going to use one more color, just one second, guys. Okay, so the gold that I have in the Fire Glow glitters is pretty gold, and I kind of wanted an in-between. I know you guys can't see. I wanted an in-between between the green and the gold, so I'm using Champagne from Recollections. Can you see how one is really gold and one is kind of softer? So I'm going to use this first. And I'm just going to go over right where I finished dusting that green. It's a better um, in-between shade. You see where we're going with this? And then I'm going to go back and add a few of the little drops afterwards. Okay. So I'm going back in with the Mod Podge. Do a little one here. And I've come around to where my mark is, where my umbrella is going to be. So I want to be mindful of that, not go over that mark. Sorry, I turned that where you can't see. Sorry, sorry. you guys like my tutorials make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything new I appreciate the support so much you guys I really really enjoy doing these tutorials for you and taking some of this crazy stuff that's in my brain and bringing it to life is so much fun just smoothing this out a little bit so that I don't have too many globs in my Mod Podge. Okay, so I have the Mod Podge on there. Again, I know it's really hard to see, guys. After the champagne, I'm going to use Sun Watcher Gold. This is one of the bulk glitters colors from their Fire Glow series in their boutique glitters. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on. Actually, I'm going to go in with the champagne really quick and I'm going to lightly dust a little bit of the champagne so I can get a better blend. Okay. You guys will have to eyeball this. You see there's just a little bit of champagne there. So then when I go back in with this gold over the top of it, it only sticks where there's not champagne. That creates the ombre. See? From the green to the gold. I still have some wet Mod Podge, so the next color is going to be Clock Fire Copper. Bulk glitters from their Fire Glow series. And I'm just going to lightly dust that in there. I'm going to do more Mod Podge now. I'm coming back around to the purple. I want to be mindful of that. So I have orange here, and I'm going to go a little bit into a, a pink and then a red, and it's going to complete my rainbow all the way around. Okay, so I'm just going to give a little bit of a 
extra to the top of that one so that I can bring the other one down. Bringing this one down really far. Going in right next to it. And then right here where the purple is, I'm going to take this one down a little further too. I'm going to take that Mod Podge right over the top of the purple that was already there so that I can blend. Okay, so the next color, let me put my lid on here because we did orange. Let me take that orange really quick and sprinkle a little bit so that I can get my blend. I'm going to use Flame Kissed Heart. It's a really bright, beautiful pink. And that's going to go on right next to the orange right here. And the last color that I'm going to be using is a red. Where's my red? One second, I gotta find my red. Okay, so I managed to somehow lose my red, but I'm going to use this red corundum, corundum from Martha Stewart. I don't know where my red glitter went. I'm assuming my toddler had something to do with it. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on. I think there's just enough in this bottle to finish this up. The only thing I need to do is I need to go a little bit over the purple and the red and I need to create a blend there. I'm going to sprinkle from far away. The purple was the first color I did, so it was dry by the time I came around. And I'm going to go back in with the Muse. There we go. Now we have a blend. Okay guys, the next step in this cup is going to be, um, I'm going to add some little details. I'm going to add a few little of these smaller drips around the cup and then I'm going to epoxy it so that I can add my decal. I will be back with the epoxy step before I add the decal. 